staring at your photograph again. This feeling never ends I am Reading back today's chat history Cause I hang on every word Hello Long time no see. No, it was just a week, isn't it? Um, feels weird to hold the camera, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, last week I didn't put any video out because I just didn't feel like it. Also, I felt a bit overwhelmed. It was bank holiday weekend. I went to see Perfect Days on Friday in cinema. Beautiful movie. It's a Japanese movie about essentially showing uh, Ikigai, if you don't know Ikigai is essentially purpose of life, like the Japanese ideology of the purpose of life, that everyone needs to find their Ikigai and it was about this guy who lives in Tokyo, um, cleans toilet as a job but really enjoys it, take it very seriously and just seeing that and without the small things for him and how he essentially having the perfect days it it was really lovely I cried about four times so and there we go uh, then on Saturday I went to my friend's uh, brunch celebration for her birthday it was bottomless uh, got so drunk not gonna lie it was first on me actually drinking since uh, Czech Republic which was in February January something like that um so yes that was fun and then I met with my sister and we went out but oh my god I was shocked I felt violated and I was just like what is going on so we went to our kind of favorite bar club whatever that is that we call it in Clapham right and we get there I ordered drinks, some dude paid for it, so I was like, okay, sweet, thanks very much. Uh, and then he gonna disappear, so I was like, cool. And we just dancing, having a good time. And then he came back with other friends, so we just kind of dancing together. I was still keeping my distance, because I hate it when like guys just come in and try to dance with you and be touchy and everything, so I kept my distance. But all of a sudden, he just grabbed me, basically in headlock, and like, bit me in in a cheek like in this cheek like full-on bit me and I was like what the actual fuck so I made a bit of a scene I think they kicked him out I believe they kicked him out and then I just uh, got my coat and left and I think it was like maybe 12 so yeah <laughs> um and Sunday I wasn't really hangover surprising that I was just tired but I was just like baffled to be fair about the whole situation and you know this is another reason now I kind of hate living in London because you're just going out enjoy yourself you're not really paying attention and to like anyone and you know it's just like fair enough he bought the drinks for me and my sister but I was literally just like about to pay and he's just like rolling and tap his card so he was just faster than me right it wasn't like that he was like trying to chuck me up or anything it was just a weird like encounter essentially and I was just like what is going on and when I'm going out I do not look like I'm going out like I had black flat jeans I had black shirts uh trainers you know nothing too crazy so especially for the place because they're usually like girls in heels and dresses you know very slutty and I was the total opposite I look like everyone's grandma um because I'm trying to myself you know make as invisible as possible but then that happened and I was just shocked and then on Monday 
I've been just chilling, went to Lidl, you know, did my usual kind of week prep and that was kind of it. So yeah, it wasn't like really much for me to show you. Like I did start to film me getting ready, but then I was running late and then that happened. And then I just like kind of forgot about filming. So that's that. Um, I'm back in the gym, obviously. Well, I'm still in the gym. I'm saying back in the gym. I took a couple of days of the last week of March because let me tell you, my period was horrendous. So I usually have no issues. I know this is maybe a bit TMI, but I, that's the word. I'm quite lucky that my periods are always the same, not painful, quite short, you know. We just live in. But this one, motherfucker, like, I was in so much pain. I was so drained. So I skipped a couple of days with hitting my steps and going to gym. But it is what it is. But in, like, after all, uh, no, after all, overall, I did my 10K majority of the month. I think I skipped, like, three days when I had, like, maybe 3,000, 8,000, 5,000, something like that. But... That was that. And yeah, so yesterday I did legs. I did the rookie mistake. I felt like really good because I ate, I got my pre-workout, I got to gym, it was empty. The music was just musing and everything just felt right. So I was like, you know, let's do the squats. So I did the squats. I was surprised that I did really well actually. And today I barely can walk so I don't think I will do gym today I'm gonna take it easy and just walk too little and then for the afternoon I actually book myself a cinema I go on my own because why the hell not there's this new Korean movie called eczema it's essentially about like the whole shamanism in Korea when it comes to uh your family like graves etc and it just looks so good uh the two main actors are the guy from the glory which i really enjoyed i can't me and names i can't remember and then the girl or woman uh is from the amazon show was it sudden death or something i don't know i will look the name when i'm gonna be edit editing it i'm gonna put it here but it was such a good show as well and she essentially play the death so i'm very excited so that's at four now is 10 39 i already did my reading which i'm very pleased i'm gonna change i'm gonna walk too little do my weekly shop then come back and so I just come from little. I'm gonna do a little haul because I changed my diet a little bit. So I got some beans and tomatoes for chili, uh, two sourdough bread rolls for my lunch. I'm doing um, wraps for dinners. So I got some roast chicken and cheese, uh, minced beef for the chili, the fake chocolate spread, some white vinegar because malt and apparently it really helps and English houses are well known for being moldy. We have a little mold so that's uh, bleach. I got this drink. I got it actually yesterday when I went from gym uh, too little to just buy lettuce and it was really nice. It's dragon fruit and yuzu. Really good calories as well so I got that again. Uh, more ham and more chicken for my wraps. British red apples. Honestly, these are the best apples in Lidl. So it's a big bag. I think it's like two kilos and they are worth it. Uh, then I saw this washing machine cleaner. So I'm going to give it a go. It's spring, so let's do a little uh, spring cleaning. Uh, my oats, 15 eggs, cucumber. And spinach and I forgot to buy wraps but that's okay so I still have six left and I get myself more during the week so and this is the food haul cost me 30 quid
good morning. Um, it's Monday. I realised I never entered this vlog. So, um, yeah, yesterday I went to cinema to watch Eczema. So good. So flipping good. So, just to give you a quick... Quit? No, quit. Quick um, summary. So, it's essentially about a uh, family that's struggling, they have a newborn who's in pain and constantly crying so these two shamans from Korea fly to LA to see kind of what is happening and they straight away see it's the grave calling so they go back to Korea and uh, go visit the grave of their great-grandfather I believe and you know they do the rituals they're trying to exhume it I guess that's the word for it and then it's like it's getting messy and it's like with the ghosts and spirits and history of Korea as well and I really enjoyed it I'm not gonna lie I have already put two books in my 2BR on Kindle about Korean shamanism because it is fascinating, you know, for me, um, I don't think we have anything similar in Czech Republic or even if you look in history, like, I don't think we have anything, you know, only thing I can think is like, you know, there were witches and like druids and stuff like that but I don't think we have anything relating so I just gonna read books I'm gonna you know I'm gonna be obsessed about it for a couple of weeks and yeah so that's basically it then uh, I think the cinema finished almost around seven so I got home around like 8 30 I believe and you literally just like went straight away to bed. Um, I still have problems with sleeping. I didn't take my sleeping tablet, which was probably a mistake. So I haven't been in gym this morning because I think I was essentially still up at like 3 a.m. And I only need to wake up to gym at like 4.15, 4.30. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do walk during my lunch break because I need to go send some parcels back because I did some shopping so I think in the next video I will do like a haul and maybe try on we'll see because I reordered a few uh, item clothing in a different sizes because with trousers you never know and oh my eyes killing me oh and yes yeah, so I need to return it and uh after work, I will go for a walk because now it's still like till 8 and I'm finishing at 6. So I think I'm going to do a long ass walk uh, to just get my steps at least. I'm actually still really sore for my leg like, day. So am I going to take it easy and then tomorrow is office day. So I'm just going to do my steps. So yeah, that's so far the update. Kind of what is going on, what is happening. And I'm going to stop waffling. As per usual. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. We're actually over 200 subscribers. I think 205, which is wild because when I started like over a year ago, I had, I think I had like 89 or 80 even. So, you know, we more than doubled and it's making me just happy. So yeah, if you're new here, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. People live